Hello, Sophie here. So I thought we could kick off 2022 with a chill vlog, uh, getting back to work. It is Friday, and so I want to do some quality of life things um, to set myself up for success on Monday, which will be my first full week back. So here is my list. So today will be great if I reply to emails, this part of the job stresses me so much, uh, so I'm trying to tackle it first thing, hoping that will help. And tidy my studio. <sighs> it's been getting pretty cluttered. And then, today I should finish... Uh, so I'm following this online course, I'll link it below if you're curious. And so I want to do the assignment pieces for that. And lastly, Today, it will bring me joy to... So I wrote Stampapalooza. Part of why I wanted to make this video is that I want to take you through my stamp making process and kind of share how I've been using stamps in my work and even what I mean when I say stamps because it has become such a joyful part of my process. So let's get started. Hello, son. <laughs> so emails check. All good, though I did have to take a break to put in earplugs because the neighbors were chainsawing and it was really getting to me, um, as well as to, tag, to take the tag off of this sweater. <sighs> Anyways, controlling the things that I can. So next on my list is tidying. Though I must say I'm looking at the time and getting nervous. So I heard someone use this term to describe themselves once, and I immediately adopted it. I am a time optimist. I always underestimate how long things take and always think I can do more in a given amount of time than is actually humanly possible. So when I wrote this list, it indeed felt extremely possible easy even. <laughs> um, but we're gonna see together whether that's the case or whether it was my time optimism at it again. Well, I certainly didn't want that to take until lunch, but it's done and I'm really happy with how my space is looking now. But I am looking at the list that Precious Past Sophie made and I think I'll have to cut out the should. Like I mentioned, not good at estimating time and trying to be kinder to myself. All right, let's talk stamps. I'm doing this voiceover a few days later because I've learned that I, I don't, um, the talking is hard for me in the afternoon. So recording this first thing in the morning with a nice cup of tea. And so my next video will be a proper tutorial going over how I do this step by step. But this will give you a taste of where I get the assets I use as stamps and the kind of things that I do to them. Starting with magazine pieces. So here I'm just scanning scraps of magazines I ripped out a while ago. Uh, scanning is long and boring, so I'm listening to my favorite scary podcast while I do it. And so this is actually my second set of magazine pieces that I've scanned, but this time I had a better idea of what I'm looking for and how I use them in my artwork. And so I'm taking a lot more liberty with modifying the colors and values of the scan to get unique and, in my opinion, beautiful textures. I actually have a big box of paper cutouts and old magazines because collaging is my favorite creative hobby that I keep mostly private, just for me. As I've been falling more and more in love with collaging this past year, that has started to spread into my digital art. It started with the ink stamp brushes I made, which I still adore. And then I made more ink splotches, and then I made watercolor stamps. And then I bought a pack of fonts 
not realizing that these fonts came with a bundle of illustrations, and from there, the possibilities were limitless. I decided to embrace the collage look and add almost any images to my artwork, making sure, of course, not to cross the line between fair use and, um, stealing, which scares me. And so I mostly use images which are copyright free, like we're about to see, or in the case of these magazine clippings, which are so modified or like such a small tiny part of the original as to be their own separate thing. Uh, it definitely still worries me because I'm a worrier. But I also do keep in mind like these stamps will then be added to artwork as textures and in most cases a lot of paint and color and more stamps will be layered on top of them. Oh, and so I think I'm in the clear. Anyways, so next, I'm going through ebooks from the Project Gutenberg website, which is all public domain works, and I'm saving images pretty broadly, whatever intrigues me. And then I'm doing similar to what I did with the magazine scans, sometimes isolating certain elements or using the image as a whole. So at the moment of filming this, after Stampapalooza, I am sitting at over 1,000 different stamps, some black and white, some in color, because my goodness, I am a digital hoarder. But it really excites me, the possibilities, all the different options I have for stamps. Um, in a big piece, I may use a few dozen stamps, although I must say most of them are a lot more textures than actual images or illustrations. For the actual image stamps, I maybe use more like three to six, depending on the piece, very intentionally. And even then, that's mostly for my personal work. For my commissions, I do stick mostly to textures. Anyways, so then the last set of stamps I worked on was actually my own artwork. I also scanned some old sketchbooks, talk about the ultimate copyright free source. And so, I want this to have been my last big Stampapalooza day. I'll definitely keep adding more to my collection over my life. Cough, digital hoarder, cough. <laughs> but I absolutely have more than enough for my needs, and so anything I else, and so anything else I add will be a bonus. So I'll be wrapping this up now. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this is different from my usual videos. But I personally really like very chill, productive day in the life vlogs, and so I wanted to make my own. It was a nice editing challenge, the music and the to-do list animation, which I love how it came out. Speaking of, Stampapalooza, ya done! So if you made it to the end, apparently we have similar taste in chill vlogs. Thank you so much. I will see you soon with a new tutorial, like and subscribe, and you can find me all over the internet at Sophie Jantek. I really appreciate you, talk soon, goodbye.